Hello Aries, welcome in. My name is Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be your monthly reading for May. Keep in mind, timing and energy is still fluid. This could play out at any point in time throughout the month of May. The message may or may not be for you. This could also pertain to energies in and around you. So swap around the energies, characters if need be, but don't cram yourself into a message that's not meant for you. Also keep in mind, Aries, this is for any major Aries placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. So if the message doesn't resonate, just check your other signs and placements. So let's get into it, Aries. I am going to be using the Hearts Hidden Secrets Oracle deck to start. So we'll get a few of these messages to start, and then we will dig further with the tarot. But it looks like somebody here, Aries, is at their breaking point. And then we get influences. So there could be negative attachments here. Uh, there's like this never ending loop. It's also this energy to, uh, it's like the infinity symbol of what goes around comes around. There's third party interference. There could be issues with peers. Maybe watch your social group. There's some type of negative attachment, negative influences here, and you are at a breaking point. It just feels like you're overwhelmed. You're about uh, to reach your limits. You're about, you know, that, that final straw that broke the camel's back. I feel like you're just at a breaking point here. We've got a lot of Aries energy going on in the collective too. Uh, so you're probably feeling that uh, very strongly. But let's get into it, Aries. Let's see what needs to come through for you. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. Don't forget to like the video, comment on the video, share the video. It helps circulate the content, helps the channel to grow. It's just a nice, free, easy way uh, to support the channel. I think this is where you want to go. This is what you, what you want. Give me one second, guys. Unexpected interruption. So that is part of the reading. Everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. I feel this energy of like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. And this is this is all you want. You want balance. You want harmony. You want peace in your life. Uh, and so there is a soulmate connection coming through for you, Aries. Let's keep going here. Let's see what else needs to come through for you. Hopeless. So I feel like you are in a state of like sinking despair. Everything feels like it's falling apart and there's like a, a major conflict here. There's like a clashing uh, of differences, incompatibility. Are you in chasing energy, Aries? I'm not sure. There's a need to heal like a, a pattern here, I feel. There's a need to release a toxic pattern when it comes to chasing, uh, fantasizing. Uh, maybe fantasizing about uh, this person and only this person is the only one for you. I'm not sure where that's even coming from. But so is it love or is it attachment, right? And so there's devotion for sure when it comes to romantic love. But there's also a fantasy here. And so is are you just fantasizing about this person only being you? I do feel there's a need to heal a pattern when it comes to, you know, pursuing people. The feminine should never be in hot pursuit of anybody if you are a feminine watching there's some type of repeated pattern here when it comes to a past life connection, deja vu. And so I think, you know, you've got to re release resistance. If you want peace in your life and you're feeling hopeless, stuck between a rock and a hard place, stop devoting yourself to something that is, is like an attachment that's unhealthy. We have, we have a multitude of soulmates in, in our lives many soulmates, right? There's not just one specific person for you. And so I do feel there's a need to purify and cleanse from some type of chasing, running, chasing dynamic connected to a past life lesson. What else needs to come through? And so there is a twin flame energy coming through. Maybe you're releasing a false flame. Let's see. We just had another one land right on top of the twin flame. So we got a deep diver here. <laughs> we got a deep, deep dive into some emotional repeated patterns. And this is connected to a family for sure, Aries. And so if you're in conflict uh, and you've got somebody mirroring back to you uh, some awareness that is very important for you to go into the depths to understand where you're lacking value, now is the time to do it. 
I feel May is really uh, getting you into this energy. It feels like almost like a rock bottom. Um, it feels like there's a major storm brewing. Like you really don't uh, know where you're going next. Everything is looking very unclear, very foggy. I just feel like you just you just are like done. <laughs> it just feels like you're done. Um, and so mirroring too. Uh, the mirroring energy too. People will mirror back to us our our fantasies, right? Uh, if you think of like a narcissist empath bond, they come in as that perfect mirror and they will reflect back to you all of the love that you actually have within yourself. And so there's a need to stop chasing. There's a need to purify. There's a need to release. I do think there is a past life soul tie here that needs to be um, understood. And I'm not... Uh, saying that this connection is not important. I feel a very important connection here. Uh, a lot of reflection, maybe a lot of shared feelings when it comes to insecurities. Do all twin flames come into union? No. And so there is like this energy too of maybe you're, you're dealing with somebody that abandoned their family, left, walked out, left you out in the cold. And so maybe you've been waiting, 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 or chasing this person, trying to get them to come back. But I feel this is a moment in time where you're recognizing that a repeated cycle needs to reach completion because I think you're feeling cursed. <laughs> We're never, ever cursed. Uh, but when we are on repeat in a negative mindset, then we will be our own worst enemies and we will hex ourselves. And so I think there's a need to stop reminiscing stop looking back stop dwelling that's going to keep you in a state of stuckness that's going to keep you in a state of depletion and so there is an emotional storm here there is like a longing and aching a craving and so what are you actually craving are you wanting to fill a void because i do feel it's time to get really honest about what your real truthful intentions are because there's a need to release a very unstable family situation um, I feel a very cold, cold um, situation, but I keep looking at this energy of peace. This is what you want. I feel this is what you're trying to get to. This is what you're trying to manifest. And so all of this other toxic energy needs to be cleansed, needs to be released. And the lesson needs to be learned so the pattern doesn't keep being repeated. Let's get into it with the tarot. Let's see what else needs to come through for you, Aries. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's time to step into your worth and your value. We get the Empress on the bottom of the deck. And we get the King of Swords. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, you could have Taurus, Libra in your chart. But it's really time to know your worth and your value. You're dealing with somebody here that is not emotionally available Somebody that does not know how to communicate properly, that maybe is even abusive in how they speak to you. I do feel this is like uh, an ex maybe talking to the mother of his child very disrespectfully. That's a possibility. Uh, I think maybe you did think this was your twin flame. We got two people here that are not a true match, though. This is not a match made in heaven. Kind of feels like a match made in hell. And so I do feel it's time to uh, show yourself some self-respect here, Aries. And it's really time to take action to birth your dream. So the Empress is full of creation. She is the great creator. She births lives. She births babies. That's a miracle in itself. And so abundance is your birthright. Um, and so it's really time to maybe embark upon a new creative project, a new creative adventure, something that might bring you a lot of abundance and success. And quit looking back. Quit chasing somebody that isn't even emotionally available. When we keep going back to somebody that isn't emotionally available, we're just saying we don't love ourselves. And so look, I do feel uh, somebody that I feel maybe abandoned their family. The Four of Wands is a family situation. So there is like family abandonment coming through there. And there's just a need to, to stop dwelling Stop chasing something that doesn't want to be caught. Um, there's abandonment here for sure. There's negative thought processes maybe leading you into all kinds of financial challenges. There's fear around money. You might need to ask for help. It's okay to ask for assistance. I, I just feel maybe it's time to embark upon a self-employment path. And yeah, like there's other lovers out there. 
This is not the end all be all Aries. There are other lovers out there. Choose to love yourself. True, deep, intimate love always begins with self. So let's do nine cards, Aries, and let's see what needs to come through. Yeah, it's feeling a little a lit heavy. So uh, nine cards for Aries, please. I just keep looking at that piece because that's where you're going. So shift the mindset. I do think uh, an awareness of a mindset is coming through. We get the five of wands in reversed. The page of swords, uh, which is learning something new. And we get the queen of wands. So yeah, uh, recognizing a pattern maybe of codependencies of... Uh, controlling jealous behavior as well and hey I've been there I've been in my younger years uh, controlling jealous possessive because I didn't know my worth and I didn't know my value and we can all be clingy right until we're in a state of independence and uh, knowing that we don't need anything outside of ourselves and so maybe it's time to really look a lesson straight in the eye as challenging as it is there might be some blunt uh, communication that needs to be spoken I think there might be challenging communication but you're being encouraged to just cut out the conflict don't be a drama queen don't play into drama I'm not saying you're a drama queen I'm just saying don't play into drama don't allow somebody to trigger you uh with with immature communication right uh, know your worth know your value Aries high priestess so we get Pisces energy coming through we get release and so it's like you know it's time to let this go but you're not letting it go there's so much resistance to releasing this person and i do think uh because you think this is your twin flame uh i do feel a mirroring energy for sure um i think there's more than just this person out there and so you need to release this person they're holding you back it's time to embrace alchemizing the lesson bringing yourself back into balance mastering self-control for sure because the temperance is right below the queen of wands in reverse you gotta master self-control here uh the power of self-control is a beautiful gift uh to keep you in balance we get the world and so this is a major cycle reaching completion. It's over. You can't go back. It's done. It's over. It's an ending. And it will lead you down the path of success if you take this and you turn it into an enlightenment journey and you choose freedom and you choose self-love. And then what do we get? We get the six of swords. So it's like, yeah, it's like the cycle's over. It's already over. There's already been an ending is what I'm feeling. And there is a need to just leave it behind. It's like you keep going back, holding on, keeping your, yourself in a state of depression, making yourself sick. There's a more peaceful place waiting for you on the other side of this. I think maybe you thought this was your life partner. Maybe you've got kids with this person for sure with the Empress coming out. But you are the creator of your reality, Aries, with the magician. You and only you can manifest success in your life. You have to believe it. You have to do it. You have to achieve it. You have to strip away everything that isn't working. You're going to have to leave behind something uh, that really has created a lot of challenges in your life. Yeah, there's two people not on the same page. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag, but... There's power and control issues here, and I do feel fears around money. The energy is feeling all over the place here, all over the place. And so we got two people not on the same page, and I do. I think you thought this was your twin soul. You thought this was your perfect match, but there's not equal giving and receiving. There's some type of karmic rebalancing going on here. This could be a karmic soul uh, tie from a past life, but it's time to find your motivation to let it go i think there's oversensitism here maybe this person criticizes you puts you down it's time to recognize that there is an imbalance here so why can't you let this go let's clarify the release scorpio energy we get the three of cups in reverse maybe there's some type of trauma bond here due to third party but i feel this is something that like closed out or ended or should have ended when we had the Taurus North Node, when the Scorpio uh, South Node was active, there's just this overwhelming energy of there's no victory here. And there's some type of fantasy or an illusion about a family situation, about this being your happily ever after, uh, maybe because you do have children with this person. 
but it's time to release an unwise choice. I just feel like there's that hopeless energy, a feeling like the rug's been pulled out from under you, but you get to decide what's next. So you can take this lesson, you can learn from it, you can expand, you can grow, you can plant a seed for something new, but you are going to have to start from ground zero. You are going to have to start with a brand new clean slate. And so you can't keep living life with the rose-colored glasses on. I think you kind of already see it. She's kind of got the veil. She can see through the veil. Her eyes are not blind to the situation. And so there's a need to just let go. Let go. Let God. It's time to get to work. I think there's an excellent opportunity for you to build something out of this. The Empress is a creator. And so find your strength to release some type of trauma bond here. You can't keep holding on to this. It's not healthy for you, Aries. And so I think uh, you are struggling with money uh, due to your state of your emotional worth. And so self-worth, self-value will always be reflected in our external reality with our, with our pocketbook, with our finances. And so uh, you, maybe you're learning to manage money wisely watch your addictions watch your unhealthy habits stop spending money on stuff that you don't need to spend money on uh, and release an unwise choice and so it's okay you know we all make bad mistakes sometimes we choose people that don't have integrity sometimes we get swindled sometimes we hold on sometimes we're the bad guy and i'm sure i'm the bad guy in somebody's story and you might be the bad guy in this person's story i'm not sure but uh true personal strength and power is realizing it's 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 it takes more strength to let something go than to hold on to something that needs to be let go of and so release it i feel um it's more courageous to release it so let's get you a closing message aries with the spiritual journey oracle deck soul alignment so this is only going to keep intensifying until you learn how to integrate the lesson and come back into alignment. You can't avoid it. This needs to be addressed. And so this is a lesson I feel in self-worth. So what else does Aries need to understand with these messages aloneness? I do feel codependency. So you are encouraged to get to know yourself, enjoy being alone, enjoy your own company, because when you truly love yourself for who you are from the inside out, you're never alone. And that lonely feeling will not be there anymore. And you will have that peace that you are striving to go towards. And so your spirit guides and your angels are asking you maybe to find your voice share your story we all have a story to share we all have a story to tell and some of our stories can be our biggest treasured gold so purge and cleanse whatever isn't working and trust that you got to take that leap and go into the void where there isn't certainty and it isn't really clear and you're in the dark you're in that gap where you're not sure where you're going and you might feel a little bit lost but this is where you go through moments of rediscovery and you actively choose to live life consciously. So things in life will happen to us always, right? There's always going to be challenges. But when we take charge of our destiny, we have the strength to, to face any circumstances. So get ready to peel back the layers and to see things uh, with crystal clear thought processes coming through here. Because I think you've spent a lot of time fantasizing uh, chasing and it's time to really embrace healing this month Aries and that's what I have for you so I really hope this helped I hope this resonated if you would like to book a personal reading with me check out the description box below and I do look forward to seeing you all again next time thanks